Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how Icon can convert a multi-material character asset with beautiful soft cloth simulation into a Lembic, and play the same animation in Maya complete with the correct materials. This may seem simple, but it's actually not that easy due to the fact that it's incredibly difficult to display multi-material assets correctly after they've been converted to a Lembic format. This is because each mesh is an Lembic file that can only be assigned a single material. This makes it a huge headache for users who wish to export multiple material content to a Lembic format and have it render properly. Let's take a look at how we can do this. First what you want to do is import in your FBX file which contains all the material data. You can delete the bone hierarchy from the outliner immediately after, as we only need the materials which you can see in the hypershade panel. Now what I need to do is import in the Alembic file exported from iClone. You can see it imports in the mesh without any material assigned. So the next step is to select the mesh group you want to assign the material to, then right click on the relevant material in the hypershade panel and select assign to mesh. Repeat this process and eventually you'll get a beautiful result like this. You can see that the materials are assigned perfectly and the soft cloth animation plays flawlessly. So let's take a look at what's under the hood that allows us to do this so easily. On the screen is a DAS model that I've imported into 3D Exchange. If you take a look at the model hierarchy to the left, you can see that there are separate meshes for cloth, belt, and shoes, yet there is only a single mesh for the entire body. Here in iClone, you can see the different materials that are assigned to different parts of the character's skin mesh. This is all fine and good if you're exporting to FBX, but with Alembic, it's a different matter because Alembic will, by default, only export a single mesh which makes it incredibly difficult to assign multiple materials. What iClone will do is generate an Alembic file with multiple meshes according to the number of material groups that your character model has. This incredibly powerful feature allows you to take those same separate material maps from your original file and then assign them one by one to your Alembic file, which now contains multiple meshes. Take a look at the FBX file in Maya. You can see that it still contains a single mesh for the character's skin, but the materials are displayed correctly thanks to the UV material data the FBX file contains. When the Alembic file is selected, you can see that there are now eight separate mesh groups that can be selected for the body. They are the tear, skin face, skin arm, skin torso, inner mouth, sclera, pupil, and cornea groups. This allows you to apply each one of the separate materials from your FBX file to its own unique mesh, therefore bypassing the multi-material restrictions of Alembic files on a single mesh. In this tutorial, we used the DAS character as an example of how iClone has solved the huge material display issue of exporting multiple material content to Alembic. This makes iClone an excellent conversion pipeline for taking your animated models with multiple materials into Alembic format. iClone will automatically separate multiple material models into multiple mesh nodes, allowing you to render your animation with beautiful soft cloth results in your destination software like Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, Lightwave, or Blender. So that's about it for this video guys, thanks so much for watching, I will see you in the next video and check out our forums at forum.relusion.com.